Hi guys, and welcome to my domain. So guys, I know I have been kind of holding off on this video for a while, not because like I had something like planned more for it, I'll be honest, been a little lazy, but that's because um, I just barely finished up college not too long ago, and then just a lot of other things were happening. But finally, finally, I have the time and I have the energy to finally do this so i apologize that i've been taking so long it's just been kind of a crazy few months as y'all know with everything else so i hope that all of y'all are also staying very safe and i just want to thank y'all so freaking much for 400 subscribers dude i'm so excited i've been very excited about it guys it's been awesome amazing i genuinely feel like i have a great knit knitted community like built together like I'm not just talking about how many views I get and all that, but just like the amount of people that I get to talk to within the live streams and in my videos, it's just been really awesome. And y'all have been very supportive of me throughout the journey. So I've been very appreciative for all that y'all have done. So thank you so much, guys. Um, I just, I don't know, guys, it just feels so surreal. Like the fact that I get to talk to so many people that I know I would have not been able to talk to outside of YouTube it's just been really cool and empowering I feel like and I feel like I've been just talking to y'all like I would talk with my friends honestly I don't try and talk down to y'all and like oh you need to donate or get the f out <laughs> y'all y'all should if y'all don't know that reference it's okay, it's okay either 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 subscribe donate or get the fuck out Anyways, um, enough of that. I do want to do something kind of special for 400 subs. I have done this before, but I haven't really done in a while. It's been a long while, so I feel like it's been long overdue to do this. So I am finally going to be reading your comments once again. Yes, folks, reading your comments once again. I've picked out all the comments that I wanted to get out so I can actually be more organized this time. And it's been, I just reading them all it's been really nice i'm even gonna read one that was like really interesting and yeah you'll see in a minute but guys otherwise i've just been so appreciative of all the support and i definitely want y'all to be recognized just as much as i am for this channel because without y'all obviously there would be no channel so without further ado guys let me go ahead and just read some of the comments to y'all and of course just give a huge shout out to everybody who commented on my videos again thank y'all so much and of course, what reading your comments video would I do without glasses? Now, these are not prescription whatsoever, but these are actually for computers. So, you know what? I was like, you know what? Let's be a little different. You know what I look like? If you ever watched the movie Selena, I feel like I look like her dad. Not, I mean, I'm more attractive than her dad. But I'm just saying, I feel like I look like him with the glasses and stuff like that. I don't know why. Totally random. But anyways, let's actually read the comments and let's get into them, shall we? So the first comment comes from Andreas and he says, pretty interesting and well edited. Well done, bro. And this was on my five mysterious Pokemon video. I love making that video. Um, I definitely tell it from time to time on my streams because I'm just so proud. Honestly, that's one of my biggest like videos. I am so proud of that I made. It was one video that I edited the crap out of. Like if y'all watch it, y'all will see what I can, what I'm kind of capable of editing because typically I don't like to use huge fancy edits on my gameplay video because I feel like that kind of just detracts from it overall, just like the gameplay itself. But I don't know, maybe y'all like it, maybe I'll don't. I don't know, that's just personally me, but maybe I'll do more fancier edits in the future. We'll have to see. But anyways, thank you, Andres, for that really nice comment. And of course, we've got a nice message from Miss Amba, which of course, if y'all don't know, Amber is a really good friend of mine and we've known each other for a while. And she said, love, love, love. Uh, amazing job, Jordan. And this was on my Onision video, which that man has gone off the freaking deep end. I, I don't even know what to say at this point, folks. I, I haven't been keeping up with his videos, like I said in the video. Um, I really haven't tried to give him much attention after the fact that I covered him because he's just probably making the same old crap, trying to get views and all that. So I really don't want to feed into the beast. So let him do whatever he's doing, folks. I'm not going to be worried about him. I'm moving on, to be honest. But anyways, thank you for that, Amber. I do appreciate your comment. So the next one is from Anchor, and he says, the background music is so nostalgic. It reminds me of the old days of me running around Traverse Town, not knowing 
WTF I was doing, dude. This was on my um, unboxing of the Kingdom Hearts 3 video uh, because I put, of course, like background music because otherwise it'd be kind of like dead air. And I don't like that. And I put uh, the Traverse Town music and I definitely feel anchor on this, dude. The Traverse Town music is probably one of the, if not the, best music in my opinion of the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, it's just the one I remember so fondly and like, I don't know, I love it a lot. And it's definitely a great, great music. It's it's awesome music. I love it. And every time I hear it, you know, you kind of get like those weird tingly feelings. I know that sounds weird. But still like that little nostalgic feeling. Yeah, that's kind of what I got. So I definitely feel you on that one, Anchor. And the next uh, comment comes from Anonymous Scar, and he says, "Channel awesome." And I am highly a D I am a highly DBZ fan, and the only person to inbox the fig pin from GameStop. By the way, I subscribe, so thank you, Anonymous Scar. I definitely appreciate it. Um, this was on my DBZ Kakara unboxing video, and honestly, I've been loving the game itself. I know some people have gripes, but you know what? Again, I'm kind of an optimistic person. I know. I mean, obviously, look at this too. I kind of buy anything really DBZ, re DBZ related. Um, but Amber has also told me in the past that I'm very optimistic about games, even if they're kind of crappy. But I don't feel like this has been very crappy so far. There's been a lot of good moments and just funny moments overall. So I definitely love it. And I definitely hope you've been loving it, Anonymous Scar. So thank you for that comment. We have a comment from FTHK. He says, deep web browsing date, <laughs> web browsing. Um, this was when I did, I forgot exactly what it was called, but when I was talking about how YouTube was being unfair and how people were getting demonetized like Primic and um, Mudahar, which that is who he's quoting. I just wanted to put that because I love that phrase. Um, I definitely love Mudahar's, um, well, his YouTube name is Some Ordinary Gamers. Um, I definitely love his um, deep web browsing. It's so cool. Y'all need to check it out. It's I think right now, especially with the coronavirus and everything else going on, if you need something to just sit down and binge watch, that is a good series to binge watch. But I definitely love it. And to be honest, I am glad that I made that video a while back because now JStation is actually demonetized. And although I wish no ill will against people, I definitely feel like he deserved it after all the crap that he's pulled. So, but anyways, um, yeah, thank you for commenting, my dude. We have another one by Dragoon Z, and he said, I finally remembered this game and started to search it up. I was excited to play it, and they just shut it off. I definitely feel it for you, Dragoon. Um, this was on my Fusion Fall video where they actually, I was actually talking about um, its shutdown, and unfortunately, I don't think the game is going to be coming back anytime soon, so Dragoon, I know what you mean. I just got into it again not too long ago myself, and then I actually recorded a video, which I need to get up hopefully soon. Um, and I was like, dude, I just got to a part that um, basically now everything passes part I haven't played, and then got shut off. So I feel you on that, my dude. I'm so sorry, but uh, thank you for your comment regardless. KFC the anime. <laughs> that is from Epics, and that was on the um, KFC game that I played, and which I still need to finish up. But man, that the, it was not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, I expected it to be kind of like cash grab, you would say, for KFC. And it is. I mean, it basically is. I mean, a, it's basically their big advertisement for KFC. But I don't, I don't know. It was definitely more. It was better than what I was expecting. So, and it's definitely, it's definitely anime-esque. So I definitely get what you're saying on that, uh, Epics. And thank you for commenting too, by the way. This is from one of my good friends as well. His name is Evan in real life. Uh, real knife, real life. But he goes by Corn Starch, and he said, Jordan, once I get MK11, uh, I'm taking you down to Funkin' Town, and then hell. Well, dude, we still haven't fought, so I haven't been to Funky Town yet, and I'm a little disappointed. Even though I know I would definitely get my butt kicked, because I am not good at Mortal Kombat 11 like that. Freaking, I put it on easy mode to do fatalities. Sorry about that. I did uh, easy mode for fatalities with my mom, and I'm still getting my butt kicked, so yeah. I'm um, defending the game on another Fusion Fall video that I did, but this was a gameplay vid. He just said, uh, getting Wizard of Oz, of Oz vibes. Haha. <laughs> um, defending the game, uh, they are a really cool uh, channel, by the way. Uh, they do a lot of gaming content as well. So if y'all want, definitely go check them out. Um, they're trying to grow and all that. And I think they're a pretty well-organized gaming channel. They're like a group of people. But 
let me just say, we're definitely not in Kansas anymore. I know that was terrible. Anyways, we're moving on. <laughs> um, ben Button Coyote. This was also on my Fusion Fall video that where I was talking about like the shutdown and everything. Um, he said, great video, man. I wish none of this problem happened to begin with. We all would be having fun by now. Look, I look forward to any new content you make, pal. Ben and I have been, um, we met on the Ice Keen, which was last December Fusion Fall video. I remember I we officially met. Um, and Ben has been a pretty good friend of mine uh, from that you know from when we met uh we've been talking a lot on discord and i just got to know him well and he is definitely um a big fusion fall youtuber himself and i know he's going to be doing um probably some other stuff obviously because fusion fall is no more but um he definitely did a lot of fusion fall content so big big ups to ben uh thank you my dude i do appreciate the comment i look forward to any new content you make as well um, this one is from Daz J. He says, love your intro, dude, and well done on 100 subs. I think this was on, uh, this was on a Fusion Fall Retro, I think, as well. I think this might have, I don't know. I kind of forget where this comment came up from. But I just wanted to pull it out because, do y'all remember that intro that I had for a while? I know, I know a lot of people actually liked it. And I know, generally, I had a lot of positive, like, feedback from it. But I just felt it was a little narcissistic on my part. And I don't know. I just felt it was unnecessary to have just an intro. It wasn't necessary. Um, honestly, when I started YouTube, there was just this thing that I was following. And one of the like steps was like, you need to have an intro for your channel to make it look official. So I was like, okay, I'll go make one. Um, but then when I look back, I'm like, oh, I don't really need it. I really don't. So that's why I haven't been using my intro in any of my videos as y'all can tell as of late. But thank you anyways, Daz J. And I am so glad that we've come a long way, honestly, um, from 100 subs to now 400. And thank y'all guys for that as well. So this one I thought was just also interesting on the Onision videos. Um, Him and I talked, or her and I talked, sorry, don't mean to assume. But um, I don't know who they officially are. But they said, sorry, I love his Meltdown videos. And I'll always watch. Don't be jealous. And this was on the Onision video. Um, No hate against this person. I just wanted to actually clear something up. Um, Just in case anyone saw that comment or anyone else had that same kind of like idea. Um, I'm definitely not jealous of onision by any means um this person and i talked and i told them about what onision did and why i was actually talking about it, and they're like oh okay now i get what you're trying to say so they didn't originally know what onision did um onision's done a lot of crazy crap a lot of bad crap guys so i'm definitely no way jealous of him and i that's why i don't want to support him it's not because he's doing mail time videos and stuff like that it's literally because of all the other crap that he's done before so i just wanted to get that kind of cleared out of the room um definitely 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 not jealous of onion boy by any means okay but still thank you for the comment bdmc so this is from amazing b he's also a very cool youtuber um check on his channel by the way um he's a cool kid i definitely i kind of see him like i was when i was younger like he's very well polite he definitely does do good content and all that so feel free to check him out you guys but <laughs> i thought this was just funny because this was on um, when I was, this is when I was sick and I had like tissue coming out of my nose. Um, I think I was doing, I think it was start survey, start survey is the video I was doing. Um, and he said, when I saw you, I thought you were a mammoth. And at first I was like, dang, have I really gained that much weight? But then I was like, oh, he's talking about because this looks like tough. And that had me dead, so I had to pin that comment. But thank you for the laugh, B. I know that's not what you meant, my dude. I know that's not what you meant. But it was still funny otherwise to read, so thank you for the laugh on that one. This one is by Nicole, and she said, Big Daddy Chef. <laughs> Perfection. Uh, true, true. You know, that. Um, this is also from the KFC uh, game. And I was like, you know what? I always name my character something out there and like i can't just keep naming red knight 77 for everything because that's so generic so i was like big daddy chef you know it um this this one comes from the corona when i talked about a little bit about the corona situation um kind of like what i was going with in college and just making sure everyone was staying safe and all that and i got a comment from bra moment which he comes on my live streams a lot too um so thank you for coming on a lot of those bra he said thanks bro and you are definitely welcome 
Um, this comes from Caleb. He's also a good friend of mine that I know personally. I did this on a channel update. I'm not too sure which specific video, but he said, can't wait for the weekly stream. My dude, I am definitely on that stream grind right now. I am definitely trying. I've got three streams a week right now because I'm off of school. And I am really trying to push myself for that. Well, I shouldn't say push because I've been enjoying them. So it's not really a push. It's more of I'm finally glad that I'm able to do more stuff with y'all. So definitely on that grind, my dude. And thank you for commenting as well. <laughs> this is from my cousin, Kathy Lee, if y'all don't know. Um, she's coming on my stream about three times now, two times, something like that. And I know y'all definitely love her so much. Um, this was when I played that game called Calm Time. And um, I made a comment about how this character's feet were just walking like don 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 like that so i said cinder blocks walmart five dollar shoes and she said i can't um i i was just getting like so peeved with that sound because he was literally walking like that through grass how do you walk so heavy through grass i don't know but anyways thank you kathy for commenting as well um cherry girl when i did my um borderlands unboxing video she said i went to my game stuff for borderlands 3 last night too at mine i won a cycle mask because i entered a drawing they had us in the line based on the system we were getting borderlands on i was number 11 on the ps4 line um we definitely did something similar cherry girl on my GameStop. we had numbers as well unfortunately i did not get a cycle mask really wanted one but congratulations to you for getting that that's awesome um and thank you for commenting as well i definitely have a lot of comments by the way for y'all so just be prepared this is going to be kind of a long video but i have another comment from my boy james if y'all don't know james and i have been close <laughs> so anyways james and i um go kind of back I don't want to say back back like we knew each other personally but um he's been on the channel for a while and i consider him a really good friend so far just from what we're talking um when i couldn't stream this is what james had to say he said my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined mother nature went too far this time and i agree this is when the tree freaking fell down on my internet line and it was so freaking annoying you guys i was like really of all the days for you to fall down and you fall down on friday and especially when i need the internet for my classes thanks james also had a funny comment for another time that I had to miss a stream because I had a big essay, like a 3,000 word essay or something I was due for business finance. So I couldn't unfortunately stream that day and my boy James always has the witty good comments. He said, I'm literally going to cry. I've already shorted out my keyboard from overflowing with tears, not just from stream delay, but also because of that giant lumberjack beard. He did not like me with a big beard, by the way, just so y'all know. I had like a huge honking beard coming out. Bigger than this, obviously. And it was like big and thick because I did not shave for a while. But I finally did. And it's getting back to there, but not officially yet. Uh, I am on the floor rolling around in the fetal position. Currently moaning in both pain and sadness. Well, I hope we are on better terms. Not James because at least now I am definitely able to stream and I do not have anything that will keep me away from streaming so James let me just say my dude we're gonna be together on stream for now um this comes from another personal friend of mine and this was on my 2018 highlight video uh this is from Jay Azurio which by the way go check out his twitch guys he does a lot of good streaming content definitely definitely go check him out he's definitely trying to grow like me and he's such a good friend of mine he even did emotes which i'm gonna pop them on the screen if y'all don't know i actually have emotes for the channel now unfortunately i can't put them out until i'm at a thousand subscribers um but if you want to join my discord i have them out right there for now so thank you for doing those emotes my dude they're really awesome but jay had to say your channel is my 2000 highlight thank you so much jay i appreciate you thank you uh, Jay also had to say 2505 had me dead, which that was on another highlight video, which I'm just going to show you all what 2505 was right now. It's time to bring in the big gun. No, the booty. No, she's back. No, 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 no. Not you again. Oh, no, no. 
Oh god, she's back! <laughs> Budge! No! Oh, Budge! Let's send Budge to the hospital. Listen, I've dealt with many things in my life, but I've never dealt with a butt that big in my life before. All right, I do not feel like getting crushed tonight. Yeah, let me. I, I think you get why he's dead. I love South Park. Honestly, South Park is just such a. Uh, the, it was an amazing game. I love the fractured butthole, and I love the stick of truth as well. So thank you, Jay. I'm glad that had you dead as well, because that definitely had me dead as well in the game as well but yes this comes from cyanic shade and she is also you know what just follow all these people y'all just follow all these people everybody that i mentioned they're all cool people so just go follow their channels guys i'm just gonna be shouting everybody out here because all these people are so cool so hey um definitely go check them out if you want to but this comes from a good friend of mine i would say uh jade and she had to say i've heard a lot of hype about this game not my type of game but i look forward to watching you play on your live stream this was uh when i did the unboxing on dbz kakarot as well um she is she was on my first live stream as i definitely remember and jade it's been such a blast i know you and i went through a trial of college together so hey thank you for commenting jade and i definitely appreciate it Jade also had to say, <laughs> LOL, it's good to be wet. I love watching people play this game. Also, Mr. Upload so much. So happy for this vid. Um, this is when I did the Good Time Garden. That game was so freaking weird, but I loved it. Like, it was aesthetically pleasing, but also not in a weird way. But it was a good game. I love that game. It's still the weirdest game I've probably played to date. Um, it just had a lot of weird phrases, a lot of weird crap that was happening in there um yeah but thank you jade i do appreciate it um i'm glad you enjoyed that little um gameplay i did of it and i definitely enjoyed the game as well so thank you very much jade um this comic comes from joey which joey has also been a really good supporter of mine and i definitely appreciate you my dude he said stream family we shall protect each other and we will stay safe stream family stream family stream family now, this is when I did that coronavirus video as well, so we definitely do protect each other, my dude, and we are a very good stream family. I feel like we always talk with each other, so hey, Joey, I definitely appreciate you. Thank you, my dude. Trico says, I think it's easy to say that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX is probably the biggest announcement for this Direct. That is something I'll definitely sink many hours into. Nice reaction, by the way, fun to watch. I believe this was Trico's first comment on my channel, so hey, Trico, Thank you so much, my dude. Um, Trico's, like, he has boomed on his channel. If y'all want to watch him, go watch him. Like, my dude, I am so proud of you. Um, he made Animal Crossing videos, and one of them just took off. I think it was about Rayman. Dude, I am so happy for you that you just took off like that. Hey, I was here for 100 subscribers, so I will proudly say that. But um, I'm definitely glad I found your channel. Um and all that and i'm so happy that you boomed and took off my dude so hey thank you for the comment and i'm so glad and i hope you continue your youtube journey my dude yee i just had to add that from tony i mean tony i, I know tony as the yee man so i just need to add that in there or it wouldn't be a tony thing so yee tagged hella people just to get noticed this was on my rewind uh reaction video and i was just like interesting I tagged relevant people who were on that video, but I guess he just didn't like the fact that I tagged a lot of people, which in reality, I guess I did, but I didn't really do it to, I mean, everybody kind of wants to get noticed on YouTube anyway, so I'm not sure what he's insinuating there, but I mean, I only tagged relevant people, so I thought this comment was just funny. <laughs> like, I'm not salty about it anyway. I thought it was just funny to read, especially Hella. That just reminds me of chloe price every time i hear the word hella i swear um i am definitely not reading this comment only because well y'all are gonna see it's gonna take up my face as well um but if y'all want to pause and read it feel free to this guy i just want to give a huge shout out to this guy um i played his game and i'll be honest i don't want to say i like trashed it but there were some well maybe i did a little bit and maybe i was a little rude about it um, but it definitely just wasn't my type of game. I just wasn't feeling it. But you know what? This guy came here with a lot of positivity, despite me being a slightly negative about it. I mean, I obviously wasn't saying it's like trash and like it was horrible or anything like that. But, um, I'm so glad 
that there are developers out there like that um he definitely took the feedback and he definitely was like very very like open about it and he definitely took criticism well so if y'all want to read that please do hey all developers should be like this and i definitely want to support this guy for more games when they come out so hey my dude i definitely appreciate you and i'm so glad that you took that well um i know like i said i didn't want to like trash it trash it but i know i was um making some jokes here and there so hey dude thank you for having like tougher skin about it and i appreciate the comment my dude speaking of big comments um i'm also not going to read this one um if y'all want to pause it feel free to but this comment was about the etika video um i still think about my dude here and now i definitely still miss him i mean i still watch some of his reactions i mean just this past two weeks i think i watched his video where he reacted to freaking cupcake uh her mu music video it was so funny um but yeah i miss him i definitely miss him so i mean this is why i say y'all we should be more open to people when they want to talk to us about mental illness now granted there are some people that i think don't know what mental illness and like depression and all that really is so when they even feel like a little bout of sad they'll be like oh i have depression or they'll want to do it just for attention there are people like that out there and i really wish i would all stop doing that because the people who really need to talk and the people who really need to be comforted and to be like seeking help they're being negatively attacked for other people's actions so this is why i say even if you think someone is faking it don't be like oh well i think you're faking it and i don't know because you don't know what anyone's going through in life you really don't so guys just be nice to one another regardless of whatever you think is happening and just be kind to one another this is what i just think the world genuinely needs and i just hope that we can find better peace throughout the world better peace for sure nice video man i like the dbz collection to your bottom left brings back uh to my childhood times thank you waterboy parker uh this was also on my fusion ball video that i talked about where um the game got deleted so i appreciate that i got a, i got a nice dragon ball z collection over there i also had that i got the freaking scouter in there which one of these days i might just have to wear it hmm. who knows that that lights timing though i know so. freaking this was on um i forgot what it was fear and hospital i believe that's the video i did and my power went out well my lights went out and this was the time where my i still had a battery in my laptop so it was fine it was just running on battery while i was rec recording this but dude it was so freaking funny um it went out right i was as i was like making fun of the ghosts and like the game and then i was like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never mind. But I just thought it was so funny. So thank you, Slade. You are an awesome moderator, my dude. Thank you for commenting. Video games don't start violence. If video games make you violent, then you are mentally unstable in general and need to be contained. This is when I talked about um, video game violence. And I definitely agreed, Slade. I just, I feel like it's such an old argument at this point that it's so outdated. Um, and I know people are going to be like, oh, you're specifically talking about Trump. No, this has just been an argument that's been made by so many different politicians that are like, oh, yeah, video games, blah, blah, blah. Because they don't know what else to blame, and they obviously don't play video games themselves. So, I don't know. It's just such an old, outdated argument. That I feel like it needs to be to shut down like that. Um, could it be a factor into aggressiveness? Sure. But to say that it promotes, like, shooting up things? No. This one comes from Shiro Luffy, which he is also a like big Fusion Fall player. Uh, he said, congrats dude on reaching level 5. Life is rough and when someone asks you for help, you must help. Even your life depends on it, uh, on how you manage to help someone. Which I agree with. I can agree with that. Um, you definitely should be helping out people depending on... And I think like... I think basically what he's saying is like your life will be better when you help out people and just whenever you're helping out people it's just it's just a really awesome feeling to help out um people and i definitely agree with that statement so hey uh he helped me out in a fusion fall live stream before when the game was still up so hey i thank you my dude thank you for that this comes from Scouse Mouse, who is also a very cool YouTuber. Uh, he said, this is insane, man. As soon as I found out I was doing four damage against a 1000 HP HR, 
that's the point I give up. This is when I did um, this little challenge I did for myself in Dark Souls against Haval um, with the broken straight sword. And I was trying to kill him with it. And dude, it took forever. But I finally did it. And I f it was awesome. It was so freaking satisfying once I did it. But um, thank you, Scout Smiles. It was definitely a hard trial to do. But I appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. This comes from Serial Pillock, who says, Pillock. I might have said that wrong. Sorry if I did, my dude. Salmon Bar in this world would be totally out of place to greet. You're the second person I've seen trying to be sneaky as Luffy, only to uh, to remember, be reminded immediately that Luffy is about as sneaky as an elephant on rollerblades. Ha! Huh. I know this is heresy to some, but I really wish they'd give uh, get the dub voice guys for these games too. Would be so cool to have the option. I totally agree. You know what? A lot of people diss on dub. But I like dub. I like dub because, okay, I know people are like, oh, well, you can just read the sub. I can. And it's not a problem with me reading the sub. But I just like to be able to understand what I'm hearing as well sometimes. I don't know. To me personally, I just like that. I usually like dubs better. But granted, I don't know. You can like whatever you like. Obviously, I'm not going to get on you for being sub or dub or whatever. I'm not going to get into this little feud, okay? But I definitely agree on you, Serial, for that because I feel like sneak uh, sneaky luffy is not a thing and um this was on my one piece video where um we were playing uh, where i was playing world seeker so definitely agree on you for that one dude definitely <laughs> um junior which he has also been a good like he's been a very long time viewer of mine he said that word nah jk i don't think i have ever been copyright strike but hope you don't get sued or some and i hope you're in the clear i don't want to wait for three months which he was talking about my live streams he also said love your content i'm gonna watch your videos and be in your live streams i'm also gonna like the vids and live streams too thank you very much for that dude a woo woo happy birthday that was when i turned 20 and did my 20 things um things so 20 things i'm appreciative about y'all so thank you justin my game is there i did your fan game cow so i hope you enjoyed it um it was on a five nights at freddy's thing where i did so i hope you enjoyed the video my dude i love listening to the news but i hate it when they bring up video games uh make people violent definitely agree dude uh kraken definitely agreed again such an old argument so weird can you use the poster as a blanket which i thought this was just a funny comment so i had to pin it obviously for my uh kingdom hearts 3 video so yes yes you can if you're brave enough Lawrence says, and she's also a very good friend of mine. Um, hey, I know the struggles of online classes. You are definitely right. It doesn't make anything easier. We all understand that school comes first. I know you'll get it all done and taken care of. Good luck, which I'm so glad I finally did, Lauren. Uh, she also said, I love the vlog style content. Cool to see what you go through to get the games. That GameStop is always really nice and helpful. I love my GameStop. It is so cool and is definitely an awesome GameStop. Definitely recommend it um lts gaming which let's talk crap gaming um so much awesome sonic creepypasta out there by the way have you ever tried googling your first name the hedgehog you will see some hilarious crap guaranteed i already tried red the hedgehog and i was not disappointed bro i did red and jordan the hedgehog let me pop them both up on here and apparently if you combine these two hedgehogs together this is who i am very interesting indeed um, Luxray says, I was hospitalized when this all happened. I was planning to continue playing retro when I recovered, only to see it gone again. I know, my dude, I'm so sorry. But I've been talking to Luxray um, a little bit here and there on the DMs, and hey, my dude, I definitely appreciate you stopping by and talking with me for a little bit. I know it's been hard on everyone, but hey, dude, I hope you're feeling better for sure. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, you know, I did this weird edit on a um, Jump Force video of mine where um, it was about Majin Buu wanting chocolate and all that, and I love making that edit. I, like, it was a fun edit to make. <laughs> There's no chocolate. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 And I think y'all would enjoy too. Um, but I definitely love editing crap like that just here and there together for games. Um, Mandy, which is also, she's also a really cool moderator of mine. She said, OMG, dude, as much as I love OBS, it's such a pain sometimes. Haha. <laughs> By the way, awesome stuff in the background. I dig it. 
Garlic is amazing on everything. The game style is quite interesting, not necessarily my cup of tea, but definitely different. This was her first comment that she ever made in Sorry for the Motorcycle. Um, it was on Woodsy, and she, uh, this is the first time Mandy and I really met, and I've definitely been appreciative uh, since she ever came on the channel. So thank you, Mandy. And by the way, talking about Mandy, I love Hello Darkness. Good highlights video. I had it. That was um, on my also on my 2018 highlight video, which was awesome to make. And I think I put that on for a Fusion Fall video. Yeah, but I'm glad you liked it, Mandy. So thank you so much for that one. Love your videos. Thank you, Mayor of Cringeville. And I love you. And I love you all out there. Right on, right on, my dude. You know, I just had to say that because of his profile picture. Of course, I just had to say that. What you mean? Fam, Sub and Scorpion are friends now, which I did not know that, so thank you for letting me know, uh, which I think you changed your name. I forgot what your name was the last time, but you are now Ceiling Gang Police, so thank you for letting me know about that, because I definitely did not know about that initially. I had a blast with Deltarune, and good video, man. I always have problems trying to do videos longer than five minutes. As you can tell, I have a problem with keeping them short, my dude, so thank you for commenting on my uh, Deltarune view review, my dude. I appreciate it. Um, I only disliked it because it was PS4, but other than that, good video. This was interesting. I don't know. He just literally disliked my video because it was a PS4 game and not Xbox, which take, typically I like Xbox more than PS4, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny. I, there's another comment that, by the way, that's kind of like rude-ish, not by him, but by someone else. That I'm just going to pop at the end of this video. Um, because I don't know where it's at, but I'll find it. I'm just gonna pop it out and y'all can like read it. It's hilarious, especially like all the Yeah, y'all will see in a minute. Um, this comes from Brandon also known as multi kill studios He says that was great laugh my butt off uh, Your mom's reactions are great. You should have her try and play something like Resident Evil 2 remake or something her reactions to that would be hilarious All I have to say Brandon is I have something in mind so just be prepared for the future. <laughs> that was so awkward. Um, he also says, nice video as always, Jordan. Also, the party at GameStop seemed killer, which it was. Loved the Borderlands party that um, GameStop hosted. And I can't wait to see what GameStop does for in the future because they do, do awesome things where I go to. Thanks, Karen, for taking all the toilet paper for the next 30 years, lol. But like, once this goes away, they shouldn't be allowed to return anything uh, they bought in bulk. This one guy bought 30 gallons of milk. That's going to expire fast. Like, why? I... Nicole, people are crazy. People are crap bat crazy. And I just don't understand it. Or is it bat, bat crap crazy? Yeah, not crap bat. <laughs> bad crap crazy. And I don't know, Nicole. People just need to chill the F out. Okay? They need to chill out. Y'all are not going to be dying out here like that. And y'all certainly... Are gonna be saved by milk so yeah auto lot adventures which i met him at pax and i've known him for a while um cool dude cool dude he said bro thank you so much for signing my pass i'm making my channel right now and going to be editing my videos here soon may need some help though from you if you don't mind and of course if you still need help my dude i am still open to that um but i certainly love signing the pass it was so awesome going to pax and seeing you there nick um, I definitely did not mind signing it and it felt so cool. Like it was my first official signing. So thank you, my dude. I appreciate you letting me sign it. Awesome channel and video. Enjoyed it. Thank you, mother. I appreciate your support. <laughs> you know, I had to put you in here. Come on, mom. What, what do you mean? I need to put you in here, of course. But thank you, mom. I do appreciate it. Poor you. One like on this comment. He feels better. See, because I gave you that like, I felt better. This is when I was like feeling like really sick and couldn't do a stream, but thank you, Pro Biz. I feel so much better now. That was very cool. I've never been able to, uh, I've never actually been to PAX before or any convention for that matter. It looks fun. Thank you, Random Robo. Um, PAX, like I said, is so fun. And I definitely implore all of y'all to go to PAX. It's such a fun experience. And like, I don't know, I've just had a lot of fun with it. Y'all just need to go to PAX go to packs go to some convention or something like that um just make sure to bring deodorant because some people smell so just spray them with it <laughs> i'm just being mean but some people do need to take a shower like that's not a joke <laughs> i was just kidding but anyways let's move on thank you by the way random robo i do appreciate it the god gaming by the way um 
he's he was on my channel a while back and we definitely talked a lot so hey god i hope you're doing good he says how dare you come after the mighty maverick me and the army of eight-year-olds will make sure we rain hell on you after nap time but until then you keep doing what you are doing sir also i expect more controversy and cursing well i can't give you the cursing god but i hope i can give you more content a little tea in the future i don't know sometimes i like making that i'm not gonna lie um but i know um god is just joking around here this is when i was talking about um like the controversy about um youtubers be demonetized like i talked before so hey thank you for the comment god we'll see in the future about some more controversy i'm uncomfortable well that is certainly the game the name of the game amber so i'm glad you found the good time garden uncomfortable it's definitely yeah Copa, Copa enters, enters the, the chat. chat. I know, Jonathan. I was not originally even worried about Copa, and I'm still not even worried about Copa. Um, it's just kind of annoying because they make you mark these things, and if you don't mark them, then it's like, oh, you mean this is for 18 plus? No, I do not mean that. I just forgot to mark it. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's an it's more annoying than like worrying. But I definitely get your comment, Jonathan. It's blech. Okay, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for most of the reading comments because this video is so long already. I'm just gonna pop up like a few comments here and there while I'm talking, and then, like I said, I'm gonna pop up the one where it was kind of like hate filled. <laughs> it was just kind of funny, honestly. Um, at the end, just so y'all can read it and have a good laugh, just like I did. But anyways, I'm gonna be just popping up uh, the other comments I just couldn't read because otherwise this video would be an hour long. And it almost is an hour long, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just best if I just finish up here, guys, and just say, guys, thank you so much for 400 subs. I definitely appreciate all of y'all. It's been a blast. I've been loving this game, or loving this game. Is YouTube a game? But I've just been loving YouTube so much, and I've been loving just talking with all of y'all. Um, like I said before, it's just been a crazy adventure. Um, going from, like, that one dude was like, congrats on 100 and now i'm at 400 peaking up to 500 very soon y'all it's just been so crazy i mean like i said i don't want to be all about numbers but it's definitely very appreciative uh, i'm definitely very appreciative of all that y'all are doing and just you know helping out on the channel and especially just y'all coming and talking with me that means more than anything just having people to talk with and having a good time with y'all it's been a blast and i definitely don't see myself slowing down anytime soon I've been loving what I'm doing, and I can't wait. I can't wait till we grow more all together as a community. Um, definitely love what we've built so far. So, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all so much for that. And with that said, guys, I think I'm going to end the video off here. But just know, guys, that I definitely appreciate y'all. And I wish I would get my hair fixed. I need to go get a haircut bad. bad. But anyways, guys, thank y'all so much. And I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful day. Thank y'all so much. I can't thank y'all but thank you again. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, I will see all of y'all in the next video or stream. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace out. And here's that funny comment. By the way. I Just pause it. it. It'll give you a laugh. But anyways, bye, guys. Peace out.